Brooklyn Independent Television. Theater to me is creating something that is entertaining to the audience first and foremost. Being entertaining can mean a lot of different things. It can mean like laughing or you know, being affected by something, you know, shocking sometimes. I think that's the easiest way to affect people is to shock them. And so just having this like very vivid, very intense, very fast paced piece is what I consider good theater that I'm going to produce. I am the founder and creative director here at the House of Yes. My role here is uh, very diversified. I do everything from uh, facilitating rentals for people's shoots and people's personal theater projects to creating my own work as well. Anything ranging from variety shows that happen on a monthly basis to full-length theater productions. I don't come from a traditional theater background at all. I do everything from just solo performance work, mostly as an aerialist, sometimes as a dancer, sometimes as a stilt walker, sometimes as an actor of sorts. Um, and uh, I don't sing. <laughs> it's the one thing I don't do. And um, I really enjoy producing things from start to finish. So I, I do a lot of costuming as well. I do aerial choreography. Sometimes I'll design the set and the look of, and the aesthetic of the whole production. I've always been really good at sewing, so using fabric as a medium was always um, an easy go-to. Started going to FIT, was into it, but it was like very quickly becoming clear that I wanted nothing to do with the fashion industry. I love teaching. It's it's a great way to like stay sharp and my students are all awesome. My class is kind of like hardcore and like ridiculous. So yeah, it's just like a really great group of people that come and we have a good time. I don't know, it's like a good way to start off my week. I teach on Mondays. The variety show coming up is a great platform to showcase new work. I'm lucky enough to have the time and the headspace to produce an original work. So I'm doing uh, a piece about Salvador Dali, getting completely consumed by his work. I would like for the audience to feel like they got to be part of something really special, because I don't think a show like that happens anywhere else. With aerial work, I'm really attracted to physically challenging myself. You just get to be really creative in how you choreograph, and there's all these different apparatuses, and then you, you can just create any genre you want out of it. Woo! You totally go nuts. And people like that. They want to do that. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.